real treat for you right now. Violinist David Garrett is a rising star of classical music, but his career is facing a setback after he took a tumble, would you believe this, and fell on his instrument. It was not just any old violin, but no. a priceless 290-year-old Stradivarius, which is now undergoing repair. In the meantime, David's been left fiddling with what he hopes will be a temporary replacement. And he joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming in so early in the morning. You were on stage last night, weren't I you? I was on stage last night doing the Brook Concerto at the Barbican. Which Wonderful. Was, uh, great success. And that's a really great time to do it. We've got a clip of you in action now. Have a look at this. Stick. Okay. <laughs> And what you didn't see then was David was improvising along oh. with the music. We had our own little show going on there. Um, just tell us about the accident. What happened? Well, I was, uh, ironically, the accident was also at the Barbican a few weeks right. ago and I was doing the Mendelssohn E minor concerto. And uh, what happened is um, my family came over for the show and uh, I left in the intermission. I had my violin packed up. Uh, I wanted to leave the building, find an exit, and there were uh, four or five... Um, like stone stairs, which were quite slippery actually. And I, try, I walked up them, tried to open the door, but it was locked. So I went downstairs on the first stair. I slipped and fell on the violin case itself with my whole body weight, which was over my shoulder. So I kind of fell backwards on it and uh, kind of tumbled down the stairs. And uh, the first thought, of course, when I arrived downstairs was, is my violin okay? And I didn't care if you know, myself at that point, although everybody around me was like, are you all right? Did you hurt yourself? And I was like, shut up. You know, <laughs> let, me, let me open the violin case. And then, of course, it was uh, the first second I didn't realize anything. And then I looked at it closely and there were like two major uh, cracks just through the whole table on the left side where the sound post is and one major crack through the bass bar. And just Your heart must have yeah, just sunk so yeah, at that point. Yeah, I mean, it was, I, it was really like a one million dollar Guaranini which I kind of paid off over the last six years pretty much of my life every day of yeah. playing loads of concerts all over the world and it was just it was I was in shock I mean I was sitting there probably for an hour and like th th there was like a medical team which came from the Barbican and I just couldn't move I, they were they thought I was hurt I, I knew I wasn't because yeah. I was just and just give us an idea, because for people who don't know about yeah. the, the, your level of music, the relationship between you and your violin yeah. is absolutely crucial, isn't it? Well, I, I think it's very important if you play uh, acoustical gigs with, with big orchestras and you play the Beethoven, Brahms, Mozart, Mendelssohn, you have to have a very, very strong uh, sounding fiddle, which is only, you know, there are only a few of them around. So, um, yeah, you, you grow kind of uh, together, like, as a team, so it's, it's very crucial. You brought the replacement in, though. Yes. How, I, how, is how it any is good? It? Was it like? No, it was fantastic, actually. Um, I had uh, the luck that, at the last minute, uh, Jay and Air Bears from London, mm -hmm. they helped me out and flew in a, a Golden Period Stradivari from 1718 for the concert last night. So this, this is from 1718? This is from Incredible. 1718. It's about Don't drop it! Four to five million. <laughs> can, can you give us a little, I know you've said you're Play, so absolutely, would you mind? Absolutely. Um, for people who don't know, haven't seen you before as well, you slightly challenge the idea of what we expect from a, a classical violinist. You look, you know, a very good looking, very cool looking guy. Well, I don't know what to say. I mean, basically, I'm um, just being myself. 
And so having, of course, I, I studied classical music for many, many years, also in New York with Itzhak mm -hmm. Perlman, who is a fantastic, a phenomenal violinist. And, uh, but of course, I'm also part of the MTV generation, yeah. which, uh, you know, I'm just trying to And I understand also you're getting much kind of younger with audiences as well that perhaps I you do, don't yes. expect coming to yeah. see classical Absolutely. music. Absolutely. I'm, I'm very lucky actually with that because, of course, classical music is always, um, you know, regarded as some, something for more mature audiences. Mm. Um, but I've always kind of managed to get the young kids also in the... In are the you going to come back a little later? You are, aren't you? Have I, a bit I more absolutely chat. Do you do requests? Sorry? Do you do requests? <laughs> I've, absolutely. Well, call, if someone's call, call, if idea. there's any requests. Yeah, I was going to say, let's go. Our, our text Let number know. is 61124. <laughs> the viewers know that. You've heard him. If you want him to play something for you. Not every day we'll you put, get that chance. What are we gonna, yeah, we'll put just, it together. Just in case, um, <laughs> if anybody wants to see me, I'll be back in March. Oh, yes. Fantastic. During the album release in, uh, I think, last week of March or something like that. We'll Excellent. talk more a little later. We'll, put that, we'll put that on our website as well. Um, so, yes, emails.